Green game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, north top, you stop breathing. The next fight we're going to talk about happened just this morning, early this morning. Yes. Of course, you know, of course I'm talking about Naya Monster anyway, and Paul Butler. Yeah, that guy. The other champion. You know, you Paul Side Piece, Paul Paul side Butler. piece Butler. Or w Wingman, Wingman Butler. Wingman Butler. Wingman Butler. <laughs> and, and, and truthfully, I wanted, to, I wanted to be wrong and put and put respect on his name, but, on his, but that's not going to happen. I'm not putting no respect. <laughs> Like I mean, I, and funny things too. What hurt? Cause I mean, I I, cause I remember the first time I saw Paul Bullock was in that World Boxing Super Series tur uh, tournament against uh, Manuel Rodriguez, and that was a that was a fucking scrap. I like, and so I I, I was like, okay, so dude was built for. I I didn't know what the fuck what he was what he was what he, what he was doing this morning. Like you know, niggas is waking up at waking up you know before they have coffee. You know, six o'clock they wanted to watch the they were, they were expecting to fade. I know Tim Bradley was affected uh expecting to fade. Like this nigga was out here, like quickly he was yawning too, because he was struggling to stay awake yeah. on the in the commentary. And then dude was Tim, fucking Tim Bradley was getting his Andre Ward on, really. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like I'm be honest, because all this shit he was saying, I'm like, motherfucker, let's not act like you weren't damn breaking both your ankles to get away from the fucking ultra talented Asian yo ass fault three times. <laughs> yeah, that's also, that's also like true, motherfucker, too. if you don't stop this shit, like I hate when niggas be acting like we didn't see them on the same, go through the same shit, if not worse. Yeah, no, Br yeah Bradley, yeah, Bradley is only, the thing too, every time I hear Bradley talking about they need to throw this punches, I get it. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I can't, I mean, I also, yes, you know, he, he is what he was, you know, he overachieved in Tomillion Square, and, you know, but it's just like, he wasn't no puncher, man. Like, you had 13 KOs and 33 fights, you know, it was like, like or 33 wins like come on like you know it's like you know it's like if if you know you're talking like you can slip in these punches like that i'm just like yeah, dog like, like yeah you know what honestly oh fuck i just gotta group nah do i say it on air do i yeah say, <sighs> it, it. say it say it yeah i'm gonna say it <sighs> you know it i i got a great idea and it's because of you motherfuckers like like bradley and ward and all these niggas I would love to just sit in a room and you know how people like they're commenting on people's fights mm -hmm. <laughs> i would want to comment on their <laughs> fucking fight while they're watching it and explain the shit that i'm seeing and i'm like so what are you doing right now pacquiao just dropped you and you barrel rolled into the corner or... <laughs> <laughs> so, um, because you was telling Butler to do this, and 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 and, and, and Butler is kind of, you know, he, he's more tougher than out than you were. Um, so, uh, yeah, but but you know, a lot of feelings would get hurt. Yeah, <laughs> because because people gonna don't people don't want to come across as no hypocrites. But the funny thing is too, I mean, if, if, but also too, I found myself having to defend Timmy too, because you know, I mean, because that tweet that Javante, you know, let out dealt earlier this week, talk about you know, pretty much saying that Tim was a bum and everything like that. Yeah, the, the, yeah, no, for that. yeah, 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 that's, yeah. That's, 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 that's some Dick Rider and Tank Dick Rider saying that kind. Of yeah, there was some, and then I had, I, I just yeah. because there was a lot. I was like, you know, there's one thing if you want to bash Tim. On his commentary, but if you're bashing him on his career and it looks like he clearly didn't watch any of his fights, maybe outside of the Pacquiao fights, it's like, dog, like, what do you like? I, I personally went out of my way to correct one of the motherfuckers who was like, well, Timmy never unified. You talk about technically, it's like, Timmy unified, he unified like twice, he did it at 140 twice. I was like, I don't know what the fuck. And it was like, well, you just proved my point. No, I proved, I proved that you need to go watch YouTube or something, get your, get your knowledge up, and you know. And I just pulled your card. Of course, he didn't have it. I think he blocked. I think he blocked us. <laughs> I said yeah, that shit. Hating ass motherfucker. Yeah, it's but, like, dude. It's like, and I'm only, and, and I fucked with Tim Bradley. I'm a fan. Like, I, like his, his commentary is passionate and good. But it's just sometimes these motherfuckers just got to get real in. Like, I don't like when these niggas like are are, are commentating on a motherfucker really brought out to be executed. Like, you know, he don't have a chance. And then. He trying to survive a little bit, and it's like, don't that like you ain't trying to survive too, motherfucker? Like, mm -hmm. like we didn't like I like Tim Bradley's one of those people who I saw his career from the very beginning. Mm 
Right. Yeah. We, most uh, most of us did. You know, like I, yeah, I was. So I, it's like I was not a Tim Bradley fan. <laughs> so I, I could remember. I could just be like, hold on. I remember in that such and such fight. You know, it was. I mean, put it this way. Um, Jose Pedraza was probably Tink's best win. That's a, maybe like a, a six, fifth best win maybe for Bradley. You know what yeah. I mean? Exactly. So yeah. I mean. Yeah, so yeah, if Fifth, Bre- six, but nigga, really? Like, that's not even a better win than Junior Witter. <laughs> that's that, that's also, but you know, you, you, and Junior <laughs> Witter is that's like a fifth or sixth best win for Bradley. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I was gonna say like a footnote, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> I, mean, nah, but I, I remember that fight because you know, I've been on the yeah, block but yeah, it's, watching it's, that. <laughs> but yeah, Bre- I mean, obviously, yeah, Bradley needs to be, you know, could, could be real then at times. No, but like people got to be careful what they criticize Timmy about. Like you can yeah. criticize him about some of the shit that he does. He says on commentary because he says a lot of nonsense at times. I, I like Timmy on commentary. Usually sometimes he's annoying. He's like, yeah. he's like, he's like the likable Paulie. <laughs> he, he, he is in a way. And since he's actually been a, been a guy who's fought different, like multiple styles, world-class, yeah, world-class guys. He's not a person who just made a living fighting Eastern European guys like Ward <laughs> but, but swear he's seen every fucking style in the book, but no, no can't recognize a goddamn jab. Jeez, that should be pissing me off. I know motherfuckers. Who, if you a Ward fan, I know you hate me, nigga. Deal well, I mean, every time I was like, shit, it's like, gee, because every time I was like, yo, because uh, Ward funny thing is the Ward always talk about hit and not get hit, but that nigga does not like fighters that represent that. This nigga thinks, you know, because to him, Roy, I mean, uh, Ward thinks he's, he's like Roy or James Tony. You know where? It's yeah, like, and it's like, dude, it never looked like your offense never looked like. That's a reason why I would love to watch some of these guys watch their own fucking fights, so I could be like, oh, hold on, so you thought that shit was dope, right? Nah, nigga, when we was at home seeing this shit live, we was laughing. <laughs> the fuck out of here! No one thought that was cool. Oh, you thought you was James Tony did when you did that, right? No, yeah. nigga, you thought you was Keith Thurman. You thought you was Freitas, nigga, huh? Like. Yeah, it, 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 it's funny to how Ward did, but I think I think Ward, it, but it seems, it's, it's like it's like a weird self hatred, and you know and it, it is that shit is it, like it, weird. It, it, like, like, he, he, like he's so resentful about boxing because he had some career issues, you know, some issues and shit. You know what I mean? I, I made know. all that damn money. That's the shit. That he was always, not, you know, he was always like in the same vein as Crawford, not really a draw pay per view, you know, type of star. You know what I mean? Even though he's, no, that is not my fault when these motherfuckers don't go on interviews. They know this is the most. Crawford, and we gonna get on Crawford. Crawford just had one of his most meaningless fights ever, and this is the most promotion and we've seen him ever. <laughs> yeah, that's also true. So just look at that. But but um, back to Butler. Look, it wasn't too much. Look, but like I could tell Butler and them had a plan. But when you get yeah, into it, the it, damn it, ring, it, it, yeah, the plan was you know we're gonna use this lateral movement and we're gonna take these we're gonna, we're gonna shell up. And then you know, hopefully, we and, can and see if we could catch him. Every catch time him with got, something. Every time he got in the corner and trapped, he was getting teed off on like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah he Monster, was. Yeah, because you know, he's just letting off. Yeah, he was getting teed off like a motherfucker every time in the corner, man. I was like, God damn. Yo, but I mean, was, I mean, Pops Butler survived it a few times early. Yeah, yeah oh, but, Pilot, what what you was saying about this fight, nigga? Oh, I'm, no, I'm no, sorry, no, Pat. No, finish. No, 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 you good, you good. No, no, it was good. It was, it was, it was a cool fight. It was a cool fight. No, no, nah, nah, nigga, you had a a, a critique on monster. No, 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 no. It shit. was more, it was more so about the bantamweight 118 division. Just kind of, I mean, you know, it's kind of you know, to me, it's a thin division. It, and I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's not it, really a thin division because I mean, because we're we're gonna see them like uh, when those belts are released. We're, when we when those belts are released, you're, you're gonna see the talent. It's got, but I think mostly it's just. Because you know it's monster. Because you know monster. Nobody just obliterated. Well, because I mean, like, the forty, you know, the forty-year-old Filipino Flash beating the young cats. You know, uh, I think Emmanuel Rodriguez went on age nicely, but I'm just saying, you know, just there's, there's holes to be. Well, Donaire is a different. Donaire is a different type of. Donaire is from era where you know Donaire ran towards the fire repeatedly. So I mean, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, so I mean, I mean, Donaire got knocked out in two, but you know. Yeah, no, no, yeah a, a, a older, more worn, uh, I mean, worn than there. No, I mean, look at his picture. I mean, look at in a way his picture with the Ultimo Dragon. You know, I mean, like his eye, the only left a mark. <laughs> his eyes come, yeah, eyes noticeably a little. Fucking he had to take some. He, had, he took a few punches. He like the was punching with him. It just he was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna just jump on this nigga." So <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna it, take it, no chances making this shit go any longer. Like, 
but but with Butler, the, the one thing that really pissed me off about Butler, and like, like I said, I mean, this is an undisputed fight. Like Butler was like as soon as as soon as uh, Monster Unified, as soon as Butler won that belt in on one of the Saudi Arabia Pro Bellum cards, like you know, he was like, okay, oh, yeah, I want this undisputed fight. You know, I can beat the monster. And I'm like, okay, this is good. This is a that's a good mentality to have. And he was talking like he was like, yeah, I can do this. But he 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 goes in there for one round, and then you know he takes he he, t- he he gets a taste of monster's power, and it's like wait a fucking minute, like what the fuck is this? Like and he and he goes into this weird movement, shelling movement, shelling movement. It's the hardest job in boxing. I know everybody's plan going to change when they get in there with with with, with in a way. That's that's just what it is. Like I, honestly, I I thought in a way looked good. It reminded me of his earlier fights where he used to get in there and be, do on, be on some Sugar Ray Leonard shit. Then he'll walk you down like Golovkin. Then he'll Roy Jones and like he, he showed was, it. He was doing the Roy Jones in the fight. Yeah, he yeah, was. Southpaw, like it like was him. complete performance. Like he he did everything. Um, the one thing that in a way could have done, and it's not really him because he doesn't have to do it. But most elite boxers, when they get a guy who shells up like that, unless they have that monster power, they're not going to get him out of there. Mm-hmm. But they never fight the style that could overwhelm them and get him out of there. Mm, yep. And, and usually that style is the swarm. Mm-hmm. But no one ever does it. Mm. Yeah, I think a guy even in a way could have did it. I think a guy like a figure. I know figure was twenty six, but I'm saying like a, a guy like figure that could rough it up, like a little mini Sean Porter, like you know that could give in a way a little bit of fits. Because his oh, inside game, of course, his inside game's a little, you know, I mean, not say average, but his inside games, you know, he's best on the outside in a way, but far. I mean, but, I mean, I, I mean, I, at times I was like, I mean, I was both because like Butler, like you lose losing every round, like what adjustments are we making? I mean, I did see something where Butler. Was trying to, throw, was trying to time a left hook in between some of yeah. Monster's combinations because Monster, he got a couple, he got a couple off on him. Yeah, he did because yeah. Monster, because Monster was trying, you know, was trying to try to try get him to open up, pause, you know, and um, yeah, but they too far in between because it's like if you're not just going to consistently stay on Monster and try to push him back, then it's really just a matter of time. It's a slow death. Like, do you right. run at these niggas shooting at you or? Do you try to take cover and let these niggas run at you shooting at shooting at you? <laughs> what yeah. do you do? Like, yeah, because what? Yeah, because once Butler let, let you know, let Monster know that he, yeah, he, he you know, this power was intimidating. Monster pretty much went walked forward and never stopped walking forward. Like he walked, was like, yo, like, yeah, you know. So, and then oh, the only time he stopped was just to do, like he said, to do the Roy Jones shit and shit like that, you know. But yeah. yeah. It's getting obvious. If, if you're not gonna punch consistently with Monster, then you're you're probably not gonna beat him. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean Monster showed some his, you know, some head movement too. You know. Yeah, he did. He, 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 yeah. He did but him punching him. with him is like the only chance, unless you try to let him bait you or you try to bait him, and then you get a shot off. But then you know he's gonna do a crazy counter. So it's like, do I just go on the initiative and and try to swarm him and? Or do I let him come to me and I just start punching with him? Mm-hmm. Like you're gonna have to be tough, have a chin, be brave. Either way, like right. that's why I wanted to shit on Butler completely because he was tough. I just felt like he should have got to a point where he kind of needed to sell out a little more. Yeah, basically, I, I I needed him because I think just the fact that he never took that, he never took that, he never sold out, and I'm just like. It made it made you know as the fight went on like now had Monster been knocking them down at least a whole bunch of times and he just kept on getting up that's one thing, but dude was just I think it was just too much movement too much shelling up for my liking. But but, but yeah. Monster stayed on him because he did. You know how many guys make a fight like this completely boring? But I was still into this fight the whole time. Like I'm yeah yeah saying, you're right. Yeah, Monster's right. gonna get him, dude. We see look like y'all niggas wanted the Omar and Navarez damn knockout. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, I'm basically the fight we'll talk about on the same platform later. A little later, you know, Teo um, Sandor was kind of one of those fights. Yeah, nah, yeah. nah. That's just Teo just being trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, basura, basura, yeah. No, I hold on. Shout out to Android. See you in the comments. What it do? What it do? 
I'm a, I'm a, cause I, I don't know who this nigga with the butt, the best of all time. Fuck out of here with this goddamn gambo and postal resume. <laughs> oh boy. Monster ain't got shit on Bud. He got a Daener win, nigga. <laughs> what, what does Crawford got on the level of a Daener win? <laughs> we got a troll in the comments. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be trolling. <laughs> like nigga, I'm the wrong person to talk about Crawford with. Like really, like, <laughs> like that's one thing. Like yeah, yeah. You don't come in here talking nonsense about Crawford or Canelo. Cause I live to them fucking respond to them shits like easily. Like like oh really? You gonna talk about them motherfuckers? Oh here we go. Like <laughs> like nah like Crawford. Oh nah we gonna get into him. We just we gonna praise Monster a little bit more. Right, but yeah, but I'm just saying, you know, Android's coming. Yeah, in a way, it was just too, yeah, he was relentless. Yeah, yeah, real, yeah, because yeah, he because re, he realized like you know Butler didn't have anything for him, and then it was just unfortunate it took it to the 11th round until for Butler to be third to be broken down enough where he could be taken up where he could be taken up out of there. And once he was once he got dropped, yeah, he was done. Like, he was done, done. Like he was. Yeah, I mean, because if if, if in a way would have turned into Margarito for five rounds, the fight doesn't go past six. Mm-hmm. But he knew that, like, look, if I just keep a steady, relentless type of, it looked like he was averaging maybe 35, 40 punches around. Yeah. But they're all fucking hard. Right. Yeah, of course. So, and, and they're accurate and they're just placed on you so precisely. He knew it was a matter of time, but most guys, they're not going to do that. Like, they need a, they need a clear target and they'll get bored. Like, Daener. The Navarez fight, same thing. Like he couldn't. I think he dropped him, hurt him once, whatever. But yeah, they're not gonna fucking keep chipping away. Monster is gonna keep chipping away, chipping away. He's having fun. Like all you other motherfuckers get bored. Like uh, I could just go go down the list of fights like this, where it's one guy who's an offensive dynamic dude, who's the favorite over somebody who doesn't have a chance and. The person who wants to survive literally survives and he don't even look like he got his ass whooped either. No, he doesn't. Like even Pacquiao Claudi and, and Claudi had a chance. Right, yeah, that yeah, the Pacquiao Claudi was one of the worst. I mean, it, it was it was a fight where Claudi showed up like he did, but whenever Claudi landed, it was Pacquiao that got fucked up and you know it, was, it had an effect, like yeah. ooh, Pacquiao threw like twelve hundred punches, landed like three hundred. Right. <laughs> Claudie threw 300 punches, landed 100. <laughs> yeah. And Pacquiao looked like he got almost got his head fucking took off. Like, it was, yeah. Yeah, he had, like, a whole eyes folded. I'm like, nigga, like, if I ever throw 1,200 punches in a, on a fight and I come back looking like that, then tell me what he, I did wrong. Yeah, hey, that means so there, was, there was a did, pure fail. Did, did he throw 2,400 punches back? Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, man, but yeah, it just... It's like uh, it, it, it's crazy. Like in a way, like Aida Best Z pound for pound number one to me. Like best yeah, boxer, I, best puncher, all of that. I think he's definitely. I mean, the top three is interchangeable to me, but um, yeah, he, right now he has the best argument to be number one. Uh, I think we're probably gonna do the list to close out the year, so he'll probably be number one. Yeah, yeah for sure. I mean, it, it, looks, it was good to see him have all the four belts and everything like that. And then obviously because there was they were talking about difficulties of him making the weight. So yeah, this was definitely his last fight at bantamweight, barring any type of last minute change or whatever. You know, so yeah, he's he's he, he, although he said it himself he's going to one twenty two. He said it in the in the. In the As he should. Sure. As he should. Sure. Yeah. There's no reason to stay. Well, you you did all you needed to. First first undisputed bantamweight champion. Now you can move on. Yeah. You know, so I mean, so it's 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 gonna be good. You know, it's like. You know, Monster now it depends if Fulton will come back and fight him. Big or... and bigger and better things away. Even, I think, even Fulton, if, I think even, Fulton's moving up, but yeah. Even, even Anto told me not... Fulton fighting Figgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah one, he's one, to be fighting Figueroa. For interim, for interim title of uh, Ray Vargas title, probably, or some shit like that. They're probably doing, you know, because Ray Vargas is moving up to fight at 130, so they'll probably make that number two. Yeah, uh, even if he's not, even if he doesn't, uh, you know, fight Figueroa, I mean, uh, even if he doesn't fight Fulton, there's still fights at 122 that I'd like to see in a way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Starting with Aqua Dahlia, so yeah, he's uh, you know, so that's still a good fight, and no if, matter if, how big MJ is, yeah, I was gonna say yeah. if MJ can make the weight, because that's always more realistic, low key than the fall. He, he looks more like 
he look he like MJ these days looks more like a potential Canelo opponent than a potential anyway opponent. <laughs> yeah, thanks. The the only reason the Fulton fight has traction because Fulton's the smallest black person niggas know at them weights that they think yeah. they give a good role, uh, yeah. give a good run. Like I'm gonna just be honest, like, yeah, like I don't, is. I don't be playing on these woke semantics with motherfuckers. Like uh, I know I'm a black person on some pro black shit naturally, so I ain't gotta be extra with it. So I just say shit, and I know niggas deep down in their head that's like yeah yeah. Cause you motherfuckers don't be watching the low weights. You, you y'all know the same motherfuckers that used to argue with me when I would tweet and say, "Oh, in a way, the best fighter." Da, 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 two year, two three years ago. Now you motherfuckers is like, "Uh, uh Fulton." Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, yeah. Like, I mean, nah, I mean, nah. I I don't want to hear Fulton name till after he beat Figueroa for real. <laughs> then, then you motherfuckers got hype him up, and I'm and I'm high on Fulton. Fulton's the Fulton's the man. He's the goods, but he gotta he gotta be Figueroa clearly. Like none of this getting hurt, moonwalking four and five times in a fight. Right. <laughs> you can't do that and be saying you beat a nigga ass. Like imagine if Floyd had several rounds where Mosley rocked him like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I, even if, yeah, even if Floyd wins, I, I can't sit here and say Floyd beat his ass. Like, yeah, like, I, yeah I, he I, won, but I mean, Fulton fought, 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 you know, because I think he's gonna make you fight the fight that he wants you to fight. That, you know, the other stuff. Fulton right. fought, you know, it was a great fight. Uh, uh, oh, fuck! But yeah, and, and, well, and, and, um, you know, he can, uh, he can fight the, uh, the uh, in a way. You know he can fight the black Mexican at 122, aka Luis Neri. You know, that's good. Yeah, I said, yeah, yeah, where that's, that's gonna happen at a? Uh, no, yeah, no, I think that's I think that's the most realistic fight that's gonna happen, like for an introduction or something. Well, uh, it can't happen in Japan because Neri's banned <laughs> over in Japan. That's exactly why I asked where that's gonna happen. That y'all gonna have it on an aircraft carrier or international waters? Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Does Neri does Neri deserve the payday? Probably not. Mm, he deserves the ass whooping, so I'd allow it. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't disagree with that. I man. mean, you know, you, you know how much of a, of a of a a villain you have to be when Japan is like, yeah, we're not. You never can. You never get and, lessons. In and, and he's on Twitter calling in a way out. He's he like he tweeted out the other day. He's like, you know, I'll be waiting for you at one twenty two. You can't hide from me. So. Oh, you serious? Oh, okay. All right, tomorrow's poll is. How many rounds is damn uh, Louis Neri lasted for in a potential in a way fight? <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here, like Neri, like really, like nigga, like. Pfft. Oh, I just yeah. noticed in the comments. Salute to Henny God. I see we we see you we popped in. You know, thanks for joining Salute. us. Salute. You know, but, but yeah, yeah. Uh, any any other thing on in a way or. Uh, no, I mean, like, yeah, like I said, you know, it, 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 it was just a shame that it took 11 rounds for him to get rid of Butler, but he got rid of him and he's undisputed champion and pretty much he has a, another claim. Like I said, he's probably one of the few activists today right now that you could say he's, he's, he's Hall of Fame about. Like he's, 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 yeah. he's there. Like pretty much when he retired, he's, he's going to. Oh, it's solidified. He hauled it like right, right now. This is the all time great run he has to do now. Right. He, like he hits Hall of Fame, like he solidified Hall of Fame now with this. So the next batch of fights, it's just going like kind of like how Chocolatito was Hall of Fame at one point, but then it's like okay, after these fights, like we is all time greatness meter here, right? Yeah, it's just, it, now it's just going up because I know I think they said that Monster said that he thinks his maximum is gonna be one thirty. So it's like, oh, I could see that. Yeah, I mean, not, I mean, not everyone's gonna be a Pacquiao coming from light, you know, flyweight yeah, yeah, yeah. to find that one fifty four. Like, yeah, that's insane. But um, you know, hey, you know, if if Duke can make, if Duke ends up in his later part of his career making a run at one thirty, shit, you know, that's not, that's not a bad deal. <laughs> you know, yeah. but uh, but yeah, monster, yeah, salute to him being on his first undisputed uh, bantamweight champion in fifty years. You know, so that's what it is, man. And then what's that stat? Uh, King P. I mentioned. I think the last time with the whole he he beat someone different for each belt. Yeah, yes, he's the only he's the only fighter, he's the only undisputed champion in the four belt era to win all of his titles off of a different fighter. Well, not really a different because like he won two of them off Donaire, but like Donaire held them at different times. 
So it's oh, still, okay. So he fought. We fought three people for the belt because I think Emmanuel Rodriguez is one of the belts. Yeah, Emmanuel yeah. Was, was Rodriguez, one, Rodriguez yeah. for one belt, Butler for one, and uh, Donaire for Donaire two. For, for but two. Donaire held the two of, held the two belts at different times. So huh. yeah. yeah, so yeah, so Monster Monster did a lot of cleaning up at one eighteen. So yeah, that's how you that's how you clean up a division. Like you know, yeah, if you want to move on, yeah. You move on and you, and you just keep it, you know, you do what you got to do to make me champion at 122. So, yeah, salute to him for sure. Uh, so-